Hey there guys, this is Pineapple and there is some breaking news on the timeline right now on Twitter that you might have seen if you already follow me on Twitter at Vocal Pineapple. You should probably do that now if you, you know, if you're just now seeing this news from this video. But either way, there is some news dropping on the timeline that I want to talk about in video form, but it's kind of dropping right now as I'm speaking. So as it's dropping, I wanted to go over it and, you know, kind of talk about it. And basically what it is, is that there is going to be a My Hero Academia sort of convention or event sort of thing happening. So I'm definitely interested in talking about that, uh, telling you guys what you can expect to see there and stuff like that. But first, let's get that intro out. So let's do that. Hit it. got kind of laggy there okay well look we are getting news let's 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 close this real quick obs go away we are getting news from hero news network at hero news network i follow these guys these guys are really cool sources of info i've, I've sourced them before um and they're saying the big my hero academia live event being held this summer will be called hero fest I mean, japan does this weird thing with not using t uh with, with fest the event will feature 14 voice cast members and have a special content like live anime scene performances, screening of new material from season four, and more. It'll be held on July 7th at Pacifico, Yokohama. Okay. So, I liked and retweeted this, liked and retweeted this, so anyone that could follow me could see it. So, basically what this is saying is that there's going to be a My Hero Academia event, like a convention or like Jump Festa, you know, like a sort of it, it, very impressive to me. It, this says that My Hero Academia is popular enough in Japan that they're dedicating an event, like a live event, um, like a like a like at a place for the series specifically. And what they're going to be doing at this event is they're going to have 14 of the voice actors at the event and they're going to be doing like um i don't know if you've ever seen the last of us live where they kind of like redid scenes from the anime live but they're probably going to be redoing fun interactions between characters or dramatic scenes live on stage for you know the audience to come through to see the voice actors um you know themselves doing the scenes uh from those characters and they'll probably you know have fun with switching characters around that weren't in scenes like having um characters that you know probably often don't speak or you know maybe have some sort of fan dumb kind of interaction thing going on behind them you know what i mean like just, there's gonna be certain fun that they're gonna have with um the voice actors there so they're gonna be doing that and the most important thing is they're going to be screening new material from season four now, this says to me that we're going to be getting a trailer or some clips, maybe even both, um, from Season 4 at this event in July. Um, and that's intriguing because, I mean, yeah, that's around the time that you would probably expect another trailer for My Hero Academia Season 4 since that does release in October. But it's interesting that now there's like a whole convention around the hype for this trailer and it really lends itself to what i've been thinking for a while now that the long wait that we're seeing is like for this season for season four the long wait that we're seeing i think is because they are doing season four and season five of the of the um of the anime uh and remember how see i think it was season two and season three there those two seasons kind of aired back to back like my Hero finished, and then right, you know, in the spring, bam, 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 season three came out, and, ba you know, it was ready to go. It was time to go. Um, and then we had, we now we have this long break between three and four, but I think that is going to allow them to do season, f uh, get season four done, and at least have them start working on season five, because by the time that season four is complete, like, done airing, They'll already have the content needed to finish season five as far as like the episode count wise. Like already as far as like content, I would say we are halfway 
maybe a little more, like probably halfway-ish through season five. So really whatever this next upcoming arc is with Monoma and Eri, and maybe uh, if there's a short arc or something after that, that's pretty much going to be the entirety of season five. So they definitely have time um, for that since obviously the anime doesn't air until October and then you have to air the the, the total episode count and then, you know, that's like 30 weeks or whatever, however many weeks it is. So they definitely have time for that. But yeah, anyway, they're going to be showing us stuff from season four and I'm expecting a two minute, maybe maybe three minute trailer um, for season four. And I think it's going to show us a few things. Now, I expect spoilers, obviously, if you don't want to hear my expectations on this, you can maybe skip a minute or two in the video. Skip two minutes forward. That That's probably a safe bet. I'm just going to go over this real quick. So, you know what? I'll, you know what? I'll help you. If you see the pineapple back on the screen, you'll know that I'm done talking about spoilers. Okay? So, just mute, scroll forward, and when you see the pineapple, pause, unmute, and we're back. Okay. So, for those of you who care, who don't care about spoilers or are already aware of stuff, um, there, I, I think they're going to show a lot of the eight precepts, right? Um, I think they're going to show quite a bit of when Aizawa and the team actually gets into the hideout and, like, starts to go about the operation to take on, uh, well, to, you know, bring down Chisaki. And I also think we're going to get a little bit of Kirishima, um, especially because Viz kind of just posted the full Kirishima uh, unbreakable thing, like a motion comic version of it or something. So I think we're definitely going to see that. It doesn't seem like they're really holding that too close to the chest. Um, and I think we might get a little bit of a tease of like Mirio fighting. Mi I don't know. I, I don't want to say we're going to get Mirio fighting Chisaki at all in the trailer. It still feels like it's way too early for that, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just get some more stuff with um, Deku, Mirio, and Eri in the hallway. Hey, this is editing Pineapple, everybody. Talking Pineapple forgot to stop talking about the spoilers and, like, put the pineapple up. So I'm just gonna put the pineapple here so you guys know that it's, I'm, I'm not talking about spoilers anymore. And the video, I'm just gonna be talking for the rest of the video. So, yeah. Either way, very, very interesting that there is, and there's the and more here, by the way. This is intriguing. Let's not skip over this. Because what what is and more? I mean, and more could just be a bunch of fun little games that they're gonna play and and stuff like that. But I think I think see, I do think there is another My Hero Academia movie in production. Maybe not a production, at least in a planning phase, right? Maybe being ripped or story uh, scripted or uh, storyboarded or something like that, written. Maybe something like that, but I don't think it's actually like in production so that they don't interfere with the quality of season four and if they do it back to back season five. So I'm wondering what this and more is going to be now there there. I believe there was supposed to be. I mean, Bandai announced it. There were supposed to be trailers for My Hero Academia Once Justice and a bunch of other games at Jump Festa, and we never got those trailers. They mysteriously just. Uh, pretty much all of Bandai's announcements that were supposed to happen at Jump Festa didn't happen. Mysteriously. For, and no one knows why. We don't really understand. Um, but this could be where we get those um, DLC trailers or, um, you know, just that information for My Hero Academia Once Justice. But this could also be where we hear about a new My Hero Academia game. Now, I've already made a video about my... um. Pretty much just my three ideas for what you could do for a My Hero Academia game, whether that be a mobile game, whether it's like a fighting game, or whether it's like, you know, some other set, uh, some other sort of game. So you can check that video if you want to hear my ideas. But I definitely think it'd be very interesting and possible if this is supposed to be like some big convention around My Hero Academia for them to... One, I'm sure we're going to get the exact date for when the anime is coming back. Um, two... <coughs> Sorry, Jesus. Good, I couldn't hold the coffin. Two, I think we're going to get a trailer for season four, along with maybe a clip of some sort. Um, three, I think we might get a game announcement, 
but we will definitely get DLC announcements. I, I, I think at least for My Hero Academia Once Justice, because there were supposed to be trailers for Once Justice at the event. And the trailers did air, I believe. Uh, I, I believe there were like a Jump Force trailer. There were screenshots of a Jump Force trailer or pictures of a Jump Force trailer that like that were on the screens on the TVs that no one like that just didn't air. Like we didn't get to see them, but they were like on the screens there. So they were like event exclusive. So there were supposed to be new trailers and announcements, but we we just don't know. Like we don't know about them. Um but yeah. And and in that Jump Force trailer, I believe it confirmed the character that we didn't know was playable at the time. So like it's not even like, oh, like well if we didn't see them, they can't be a big deal. Like the Jump Force trailer revealed a character that we we wouldn't have known about unless it came out in Weekly Shonen Jump also. So that makes me question what we're going to be seeing in this possible Once Justice trailer or whatever it's going to be. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was recording and I'm not crazy. So, who are these 14, 14 voice actors that are going to be at the event? Well, let's click on the website here at HeroAka.com slash HeroFest. Okay, so, ignoring all this because we can't read Japanese. Unless you can, then here you go. Um, we have the voice actors for Deku, All Might, Bakugo, Ochako, Ida, Todoroki, um, Froppy, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Momo, Mineta, Kaminari, Aizawa, Mirio, Sun Eater, and, oh, this is my queen too, I forgot her name, Nejire. So these 14 are going to be there. I think there are some interesting things that they can definitely do um, between the 14 of them for scenes. But I think this is a lie. I think there is one more person that is going to be at this event. Because look at this slot here. It's so weird that there's just like a mysterious slot here that's just not filled. I think the voice actor for Chisaki is also going to be invited to this event. Um, and I think he's going to be there to have really cool interactions with Deku and Mirio's voice actors, maybe cool interactions with All Might, because we've never seen uh, All Might and Chisaki interact. I mean, there's just tons of cool stuff that they can do with him there. Um, and you know, you have the big three there, and they kind of have interactions with him and stuff and, and his gang. So obviously it'd be very interesting for him to be there. And I think that will be the case, because they've got to fill this weird slot here. And 14 is a weird number. You definitely want to have 15 voice actors if you're going to invite the voice actors out. But, yeah, it seems that there's some sort of raffle for the My Hero Academia movie, which is, again, dropping with the All Might Rising OVA, so make sure if you can get the Plus Ultra Edition in the U.S., I don't know if that information is available, but I'll, I'll double-check. If it is available, I will make a video talking about the Plus Ultra Edition for My Hero Academia in the U.S., the movie, um, and whether or not that comes with the OVA. But for now... This is what we have for information. It's not very much. It's a brand new announcement. But a My Hero Academia convention or festival type thing is happening July 7th in Japan. And um, they're going to be revealing all sorts of stuff. And it's going to be very interesting. And if you want to hear more about it, you can definitely subscribe to this channel. And we're going to be talking all about it. I mean, I, I tr I'm fairly, really quick on getting news covered. I'm up in the middle of the night. I'm up at really ridiculous times. My subscribers will tell you, of course, in the comment section. So if you are on the fence about subscribing, make sure you do. I will get the information to you as quick as possible. That's all we have for now. Um, there's nothing else to really, really cover. But, you know, very interesting. Shout out to Hero News Network on Twitter. I appreciate, you know, all the service they do, obviously. It's a really cool tool for the My Hero community. Really good source for news. Um, and yeah, Hero Festival. Interested? Maybe I'll go one year if they do. If they do one next year or something, that'd be really cool to do a vlog at Hero Fest. That's something that you, only you guys can make possible, really. I can never do that on my own. But yeah, maybe we'll get there one day. Let's see. Maybe maybe 200k. We'll, <laughs> we'll just go out to Hero Fest. Let's find out. Let's, let's see if we can get there. But I do appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys later. This is Pineapple. I have nothing else to offer here for this video. Peace.